The final version of the Yassin trainer aircraft developed by Iran was introduced at the ceremony. In this context, it was stated that the production of the aircraft has started. The aircraft was designed as a training aircraft by experts from Iran Aviation Industries and the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force. The new version of Yassin has different features compared to the first prototype introduced in October 2019. In this context, according to the news made by the Islamic Times, the aircraft includes a domestic ejection seat, avionics, engine and landing gear. The aircraft, which is 12 meters long and 4 meters high, is claimed to weigh 4.3 tons unloaded under operational takeoff conditions. According to the article published by Global Security, the tail structure removes the restrictions of the pilot on various maneuvers. The cockpit is designed in a tandem and uneven layout to provide a comfortable and wide field of view to the learner pilot in the front cabin and the instructor pilot in the rear cabin. It is claimed that the runway required for the landing of the plane is only 700 meters. Iranian Aviation Industry President Amir Karim Bani Tarafi said in an interview with Iranian state television that the Iranian Air Force was also examining the possibility of using Yassin for close air support missions. Currently, the aircraft only has a training function, but it can be completed and equipped with bombs and missiles and used as a CAS aircraft in the future. The Air Force may need 48 to 64 aircraft in total. He said. Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani has launched the production line of homegrown Yassin training jet, which could also be tasked for close air support CAS. Among our main concerns is training fighter pilots, because the process is of paramount significance and requires training aircraft in different classes, Ashtani said at ceremony in the capital Tehran on Saturday morning. He stated that experts and specialists at the Iran Aviation Industries Organization IAIO, started designing Yassin training jet years ago, and its second prototype was unveiled Saturday. The homegrown characteristics of the training jet make it suitable to be utilized for close air support CAS, of military aircraft, against hostile targets as well, the Iranian defense chief said. Ashtiani said most of the military gear and equipment of the advanced aircraft have been localized expressing hope that it will perform assigned tasks and prove effective in reducing training duration and improving training quality. Commander of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force, IRIAF, Brigadier General Hamid Vahidi also said, previously, our fighter pilots used to be trained abroad. The first sector affected as a result of the sanctions against our country was this field, which created difficulties for us in terms of training. Utilization of the new aircraft will make training duration more complete and shorter, he said. The Iranian jet trainer is now furnished with a homegrown ejection seat, avionics, engine, and landing gear. The airborne weather radar installed on its radome has been manufactured by domestic knowledge-based companies. Its wing design enables the jet to land and take off at a speed of at least 200 km per hour. Iranian military experts and engineers have in recent years made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. Officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never open for negotiations. Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei has repeatedly called for efforts to maintain and boost Iran's defense capabilities, decrying enemies for questioning the country's missile program.